Last year's extreme heat will force your springtime crawfish boils to be a little bit uh, different this year and more expensive. Uh, crawfish are a lot harder and harder to find, and a lot of smaller ones too. It's fueling a cost increase all over the state. Governor Jeff Landry is calling on the federal government to expand a program to help Louisiana crawfish farmers weather another drought like the one we saw in 2023. The beauty of this is, is we're not asking for new money, more money. We're just asking that crawfish be included in money that's going to be spent somewhere anyway. Governor Landry sent a request that would help expand the emergency livestock assistance program to include drought as a cause of loss for former farm-raised crawfish, uh, farm-raised crops, including crawfish. Joining us now via Zoom is uh, Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. And w what are the odds we can actually get this kind of money out of them? Well, and, and has, has, it been, has it ever been done before? Yeah. Uh, not for crawfish, but I think it's something that should be, uh, it's just like any other crop, it's a little unusual, but uh, the drought affects other crops much like it did the crawfish this year. So it absolutely should be eligible for federal assistance. And we are seeing smaller crawfish. Uh, prices are up. Uh, will, will this uh, ease a bit over time as we get deeper into the crawfish season? Well, the warm weather this week definitely helped. I had some crawfish yesterday sitting in a restaurant about six fifty a pound. They weren't a bad size, so I think the price is coming down. And as the uh, warm weather continues, they should get a little more plentiful, but a lot of them died through the drought. So there's just not as many crawfish as there were last season. So uh, we hopefully we'll see the prices come down and make it through this year. But you know, it's been tough with those imports. We've been pushing for an inspection fee to inspect more seafood. Uh, they inspect less than 5% of those imports coming in. And that really affects the industry as well. Right now, what do you think the ratio is of, of farm-raised Louisiana crawfish as opposed to those Chinese and other imports? Uh, it, it's hard. It's flooding the market. They're dirt cheap. A lot of restaurants, you know, we ask people to ask before you eat, demand Louisiana seafood. And um, we're asking the health department to turn over to the seafood board the inspection. A lot of seafood that comes into Louisiana and across the country is mislabeled. Uh, it's from a foreign country and it's called Boudreaux's crawfish. So we want to catch those people that are breaking the law and we want to put some hefty fines on them because you deserve to know what you're eating and uh, and make sure it's good, fresh Louisiana seafood and crawfish. And what, what are crawfish farmers telling you? I mean, uh, how bad is it for them? Well, it's pretty bad. Some, you know, where they usually get a whole net full, they're getting one, two or three crawfish. You know, last week, we pardoned the crawfish and we had trouble finding one uh, to let live its life out in the state park. Uh, so they're pretty, pretty scarce right now. And, and what do you tell restaurants? Because, I mean, they, they want to serve crawfish at, at uh, their meals, their restaurants. Um, I mean, they got to get them somewhere. Absolutely. You know, I had a group in from Arkansas this past week of about 30 people, and they came here to eat crawfish. So we had to shuffle them around to places that were providing crawfish. Uh, it's a big part of our tradition right after Mardi Gras is crawfish season. So it's a, it's a juggling act of who has them and who don't. And uh, people are, are going around trying to find the best price. And what, what, what are, besides the appeal to the federal government for those dollars to help crawfish farmers, I mean, what, what else can, can, can your office, the governor's office, our congressional delegation do to make sure it happens? Well, I think it brings new light to the industry. It's over a $450 million industry in Louisiana to really get in our congressional delegation to work on some kind of long-term import fee to stop those imports from flooding the market. That's a long-term solution. But right now, that federal assistance surely will help them because many of them won't make it till next year. Uh, counting on this season and having nothing to sell, it's really going to put an impact on them and their families. So hopefully this federal aid will come in to make sure they can make it to next year's crawfish season. And I assume the other concern you have is with the shortage of Louisiana crawfish, there is a chance that we may see a lot more imported crawfish. Well, absolutely. They do flood the market. You know, they're dirt cheap. They're, a lot of them are grown in, in, farm, in human waste. They're contaminated. Um, so we want to show the difference in the quality because uh, those cheap imports have been flooding the market. And now with less crawfish here, people can be more apt to uh, 
to buy those cheap imports. And uh, I highly recommend against it. A lot of them are grown in horrible conditions. And uh, you can't beat the fresh Louisiana crawfish and seafood. And, and the bulk of crawfish we get here in Louisiana, they're grown on farms. They're not caught out in the wild. Um, how, many, how many crawfish farmers do we have? Well, they, there are a lot of caught in the basin, the Chavalaya Basin, yeah. so there are a lot of uh, wild crawfish caught. But you're right, the majority of them are those private ponds. And, um, you know, there's several hundred people that fish crawfish. Uh, some of the larger producers, uh, this is their livelihood. That's what they do. So uh, it's going to have an impact on them and their families this year, not having much to sell. Now, is, is that request to the president's office? to the administration or is it to the Department of Agriculture? Well, it's to the Department of Ag and I'm sure someone in the administration has to bless it. And that's why a little bit of uh, pressure from our congressional delegation surely will help. And hopefully they're working uh, the phones to try to get that funding to our farmers as soon as possible. All right, Billy, we uh, hope it all works. Appreciate you coming on the morning show.